Welcome to the Bronto YouTube channel. Today, I'll tell you about the design, operation, modes, usage and settings of the Bronto oil press OP1000. This information will help to provide reliable oil press operation over many years. The oil press is constantly improved and modified to meet client demands. That's why some non-major changes in its design might not be represented in this video. Let's get started with the operation requirements. The oil press is installed on a plane level surface on the floor or on a concrete foundation with an inclination no greater than 5 mm per meter. The oil press base plate should be earthed. Make sure you check the earth connection regularly. Disconnect before carrying out maintenance or repair. A magnetic separator must be installed in front of the oil press hopper. Caution! Never push raw material into the inlet hopper by hand or with any foreign object while the oil press is operating. Never clear the outlet hole while the oil press is operating. Never stop the oil press when the press cage is full of product. Caution! Never switch the press's motor to reverse mode, either to discharge the product from the press or for any other reason. During the oil press operation, the press cage has a hot surface. The oil cake is extremely hot after it has been discharged. The oil press must be equipped with forced exhaust ventilation for steam extraction. The feeder that supplies the raw material to the oil press must be also equipped with a forced exhaust ventilation and a gate to regulate airflow. Purpose and scope of the OP1000. The oil press is designed for pressing vegetable oil from soybeans. The main parts of the oil press. The drive consists of an electric motor and a gear motor connected by V-belt. The knives, installed on the screw shaft and the outlet assembly, they're designed to crush the oil cake. The outlet assembly is designed for adjusting the thickness of the oil cake. It is installed at the end of the press cage. The screw shaft is made up of many parts. It consists of screws and bushings assembled in a specific sequence. The screw shaft, while being rotated, transports and compresses the feedstock. The press cage consists of two symmetric parts. The cage parts are connected with tie rods. They consist of separate casings which are tied together with studs along the axis of the oil press. When the cage parts are connected, they cover the screw shaft and the bearing assembly. Each of the cage parts is installed on supports that can rotate around the axis. The supports are fixed with tightening bolts. The inner surface of the press cage is formed with a set of cage bars, clamp bars and knives. The construction of the cage bars provides the gaps for oil draining. The gaps become smaller in the direction of the product movement while it's being processed. Special knives stir the feedstock inside the press cage. Cage bars are installed such that their teeth are directed towards the screw rotation. The safety guard is a structural steel plate with side walls that can be quickly dismantled. The bearing assembly allows for smooth rotation of the screw shaft and holds the axial load. The base is a welded construction and a support unit for the oil press assemblies. The unloading screw transports the oil to the outlet pipe. The outlet box collects and transfers the oil cake to the transportation system. The safety cover shields the V-belt transmission. Caution! Never run the oil press without the safety cover. The control cabinet. The front panel of the control cabinet includes displays and controls for managing and monitoring the press. The purpose of controls and displays are as follows. The stop button is for emergency disengagement of the control cabinet. The press start stop buttons are for switching the press drive motor on and off. The remove oil start stop buttons are for switching the screw drive motor on and off to remove the oil. The voltage switch is for powering the control cabinet. The drive current 83 ampere display is for monitoring the load of the press's drive motor. The voltage signal lamp is for monitoring the voltage supply to the control cabinet. The control cabinet should be powered by copper wires not less than 10 mm squared in size or aluminium wires not less than 16 mm squared. How does it work? Feedstock is fed into the receiving hopper. 
the screw shaft moves the feedstock to the press cage and further to the discharge assembly. As the inner diameter of the screws increases, the feedstock volume is reduced. As a result, the material is compressed and oil is released. Oil flows through the gaps in the press cage. The oil cake is discharged from the press cage. It is crushed and removed from the oil press into the oil cake transportation system. How to set up the oil press? Pre-operation stage. Inspect equipment for foreign matter prior to starting the oil press. Check belt tension. Check grease availability in the bearing assembly. Check installation of the safety cover and safety guard. Withdraw the conical bushing to its most open position. Check the magnet catcher. Run a short idle start, no more than 10 seconds. Check the direction of the rotation of the screw shaft. The correct direction of rotation of the screw shaft is clockwise. How to start the oil press. Start the electric motor of the press for 30 seconds before the product feed. The first feed of raw materials should be at 25 to 30% of the rated value. When the temperature of the output assembly reaches 50 to 60 degrees Celsius, gradually increase the feed of raw materials by 10% every 10 to 15 minutes. The oil press will reach its rated capacity in one and a half to two hours. Intensive oil discharge will begin after heating the screw shaft and press cage to 80 to 100 degrees Celsius. After the oil press has reached the rated capacity, you can get the desired thickness of the oil cake. You do this by fastening the bolts of the outlet assembly 0.5 to 1 turns alternately. Danger. Rotating knives can cause severe injury. Use extreme caution. Operation of the oil press OP1000. Amateur maximum value indications should be thoroughly monitored during the oil press loading. The drive current limit is 42 amperes. The oil press operation requires monitoring of the following values. Drive motor load, feed material temperature and moisture, oil cake shell thickness, bearings temperature. How to stop the oil press. Prepare a mix of 8 to 10 kilograms of soybeans and 2 to 3 litres of water. Stop raw material feeding and wait until the oil press is fully free of oil cake. Withdraw the adjusting nozzle to its most open position. Gradually, feed the prepared mixture into the feed hopper. Switch off the oil press after the product has been discharged. How to open and clean the press cage. In order to stop the press, you must remove the safety guard, remove the knives from the screw shaft, set stands on the oil press base. Place the base of the stands under the half coupling and screw the shaft into the place where the knives were installed. Remove the tie rods. Loosen the bolts fastening the support to the base. Using two jacks, take the press cage parts to their extreme rest position alternately. Using the jack, take the press cage parts to the horizontal position alternately. Check the condition of the screw section. Clean the press cage bars from the remnants of compressed oil cake. Now, you know more about the OP1000 design, pre-operation, startup, how to operate and stop the machine. Stay with the Bronto YouTube channel.